With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, two guns situated at the top of the hill of height 10 meter fire one shot each with the same speed 5 root 3 meter per second at some interval of time. One gun fires horizontal and the other fires upward at an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. Two shots collide in air at a point P. So we have to find first the time interval between the fires and the second coordinates of the point P. And it is given that the origin of the coordinate system is at the foot of the heel below the muzzle and that trajectories are in x y plane okay so let's look into the question okay it is given that the shot one by the gun is the first shot and the second shot is in horizontal direction okay so we can see that the u x in first shot is equal to 5 root 3 cos 60 degree that is 1 by 2 alright so overall its speed in x direction is root 3 by 2 5 root 3 by 2 meter per second and the speed of second shot in x direction is 5 root 3 as it is okay so as we can see the difference that is the first shot is slower in x direction and the second shot is faster okay so from here we can conclude that the shot in the 60 degree with horizontal that is shot 1 is fired first okay so let's say it is fired at t equal to 0 and uh, let's say at t equal to t second it collides with the second shot okay let the interval between the two shots fired be t naught. Okay, so the time of flight for the second shot would be t minus t naught. Okay, and the time of flight for the first shot would be t. Okay, so now we know that the both shot collide at the point p x y. So for collision, their coordinates would be same at the same time that is t equal to t seconds ok so we are going to write the equations in x and y so that we can equate them so for first shot let's say x is equal to you know that 5 root 3 by 2 t alright so this is our first equation we can write the second as 10 because origin is here so we have and the point at start is here so we have to add the 10 meters also and here we can write as t by 2 t minus 5 t square okay so this is our second equation similarly we can write it as for second shot that is x equal to 5 root 3 t alright this is the third equation sorry and y equal to 10 plus 0 because the in y direction its velocity is 0 okay minus 5 t square and sorry it is t minus t naught all right and it is also t minus t naught all square and this is our fourth equation now we are going to equate the x part and the y part okay so from x we get that 5 root 3 minus t naught is equal to 5 root 3 by 2 t from here we get that 5 root 3 t by 2 is equal to 5 root 3 t naught so we get a relation between t and t naught as t equal to 2 t naught alright so this is our important relation that is we are going to use ok so let's solve it for uh, y ok so we can write it as 10 minus 5 t minus t naught whole square is equal to 10 plus 15 by 2 t minus 5 t square alright so let's replace t to 2 t alright so our 
new equation would be minus phi 2t minus t that is t naught whole square is equal to 15 t naught minus 5 into 4 t naught square all right so we get uh, here 20 t naught square and uh, let's say it shifts to lhs we get 15 t naught square is equal to 15 t naught all right so from here we get t naught equal to 1 second all right so we get the time interval that is we have asked for in part one the time interval between the two shot okay that is one second all right now let us calculate the coordinates so just putting the time that is we got you know that t equal to two times t naught that is one all right so we get here as two seconds so the time of flight for the first shot is two seconds all right so we can just put it in the equation of first shot that is x equal to i root 3 by 2 into t that is 2 from here we get x as 5 root 3 meter all right so this is our x coordinate similarly we can put t here as 2 from here we get 10 plus 15 minus here we get as 20 all right so on solving it we get it as 5 all right 5 meter so we get y coordinate as 5 meter so that's all we got the coordinates of point c as e 5 root 3 comma 5 all right so that is the second part that is we have asked for in the question that's all for the question thanks for watching for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.